click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a numerical number 5 that is problem number 5 based on ROC and Z transform. So first of all let's go through the question and then we'll move on to solution. Determine Z transform and also find its ROC where the sample value is 0. Now look at here the arrow is marked perfectly below to that of 0 which means here we have origin now arrow is placed on the leftmost bit and all the samples are available on right hand side which means instance are positive which means all the n values having a positive instance now we will move on to a definition or you can say that we'll move on to solution now look at here the, at origin we have amplitude 0 this is the origin value that's why I have placed zero value here the origin is placed on leftmost side which means the samples available on right hand side having a positive instance value positive instance value means what we have to place these amplitudes or the sample amplitudes but uncertain or some instance which instance you will choose here the instant is available on left hand side so the, on the right hand side instance available on right hand side of origin as are always a positive so you can say that this plus one having amplitude one this is the instant value next amplitude one is available at instant two next amplitude two is available at instant three now tell me how many values or how many samples are there the samples are four Basically, n equals to 4 is not that much important from this numerical point of view. It is important from further topics point of view. Now, basically, our small n value varies from 0 to 3. So, here I will mark. Now, we will apply a definition or now we can use the definition of Z transform. Z transform x of n is represented by x of z and the definition is... Summation value n varies from minus infinity infinity x of n z to the power minus n. Now, basically our n value varies from 0 to 3. So, I am going to replace this summation limits. What is our next step? Just break this summation value. So here, all the sample instance are having a positive sign. So, z to the power will get a negative amplitudes. All the instance having a positive sign, which means the order of z is having a negative sign. That's why I have placed z to the power minus 1, z to the power minus 2 and z to the power minus 3 because our n value is positive. If the n value is negative, then all the powers of z will be positive. Now we will substitute the values of x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3 in our formula. Basically x of 0 value is 0. Next x of 1 value is 1. And I will multiply it with the z to the power minus 1. Then next x of 2 value. x of 2 value is 1. I will multiply z to the power minus 2. And x of 3 value is 2. So just multiply all the values and add it. This is nothing but the z transform of given x of n sample. Now we will find out the ROC of x of n. So we have this equation. Now what we want? We want ROC. Now before moving to ROC, first of all, try to write this equation or try to write x of z value where the all the power of z will be a positive just try to convert all the powers of z into positive how to convert negative powers of z into positive simply just take the reciprocal so that all the orders will be positive now 
just substitute the values of z if i substitute z equal to 0 then what you will get 1 upon z 1 upon z square and 1 upon z cube all these z are replaced by 0 and 1 upon 0 is always infinity which means all these three terms will give us an infinite result so total overall answer is infinity so you can say that at z equals to 0 we have got infinite result so now similarly we'll substitute the last limit that is z equals to infinity if i substitute z equals to infinity then what you will get 1 upon infinity 0 1 upon z square that is 1 upon infinity again 0 a 2 upon z, z cube that is this z cube is replaced by infinity so 2 by z cube that is 2 by infinity is also 0 so all these three terms will give us a value of 0 so answer is also 0 now you can say that this z equals to infinity is giving us or is providing us a finite result which means our roc is available over the entire region of z plane but excluding z equals to 0 because this value gives us an infinite result exception is z equals to 0 so that's all for now thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much